Uh, let's take a look at Facebook, uh, the company facing some heat over Russian meddling. Facebook executive Rob Goldman tweeting this. Uh, we are also taking aggressive steps to prevent this sort of meddling in the future by requiring verification of political advertisers and by making all ads on the platform visible to anyone who cares to examine them. The company just unveiled a plan, too, to verify ads, get this, using postcards. <laughs> Bring in the host of the Next Revolution with Steve Hilton. Steve, great to see you. Who would have thought that maybe the best way to thwart the Russians is a postcard sent through the mail? What say you? I know it's incredible, isn't it? You know, the, the old technologies end up being, being the best. Um, I think, look, look b before we get going, I should do my version of a full disclosure here. My wife um, works at Facebook. She's, oh. she's a senior executive there, so um, the audience ought to be aware of that. I think that the thing that, we, you know, we should acknowledge is that they are recognising what was done uh, on their platform, and they're trying to do something about it. And, and um, whether it, it will make any difference remains to be seen. I mean, I think the thing that we all really notice from from what's coming out about the Russian efforts to to kind of cause trouble in our in our uh, political uh, conversations here in America is how sophisticated they were mm. um, using a wide range of techniques um, and so I think it's going to be something that that is going to be more than Facebook uh, who needs to address this it's, it's a bigger problem on the other hand um, we can say it's a big problem but it, we've got to always remember it didn't really make that much difference and that's the big right. thing that um, also came out of the Mueller indictments, that it did not sway the election. No. In fact, I think the aim was to create division and undermine democracy. And at one point, they had pro- and anti-Trump rallies uh, going against each other here in New York that we understand was actually organized by Russian operatives. So I guess in that sense, they were quite successful. Yes. I mean, it's incredibly sophisticated. And, and um, it's, it's interesting how... Um, they're able to do that, and then the media cover it. And you, I, I saw some um, images yet just the other day of, mm. of incredibly gullible reporters on <laughs> CNN, for example, just sort of going on about this incredible upswell of, of, um, of sentiment against Donald Trump after the election. Isn't it incredible the way these crowds are mobilizing? All, all, all prompted by the Russians. Incredible. But also, Steve, let's be honest. I mean, the U.S. have done this. We know the U.K. have done such things around the world. They want a dictator out. They'll do everything they can to undermine the, the, the dictator and, and help those that are more pro-democratic. I mean, is it just a reality of today? Well, I think the, 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 it is, basically. And I think that the big thing that we always have to remember is if you want to look at, at a, an a international operations to undermine other countries and the real threat to us here in America, the big villain of the piece is China. Yeah. And what they're doing um, to use everything at their, in their, dis at their disposal to try and pursue their goal of world domination. They literally talk about it in those terms, especially in trying to steal technology and um, also to force American companies to hand over the technology that they, the right. Chinese government, want to beat America in important areas, particularly things like artificial intelligence. That's what we should be really worried about. You're right. Steve Hilton, as always. Thank you so much, Steve, for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to see you.